Thank you very much, our keynote speaker. Uh, yesterday, when I was welcoming you, you remember the joke of, you know, the feeling of pain. One is alive. When you feel the other for others, then you are living. Let me take this opportunity to welcome the Speaker of the National Assembly, the Honorable Moses Vatangula, to take the rest of the program. Your Excellency, our President, and all dignitaries present, shall we stand for a minute, all of us? Turn to the person next to you. And tell him or her, we must reconcile. <laughs> Thank you. Let's be seated. Take your seats. Your Excellency, we have done very well with time. And I'm sure we live here with self-reconciliation and reconciliation with everybody that we interact with. Thank you, Dr. Lord Hastings, for that moving speech, the keynote address. For those of you who are not widely read, the book by Leon Tolstoy that he quoted is called War and Peace. I read it 20 years ago. <laughs> now is the time to hear our senior leadership. Allow me to, because we have a few minutes, to give one or two national leaders before we come to His Excellency, the Deputy President and the President. Honorable congregants, when I entered the University of Nairobi, I found myself perched in a room with some tall young fellow from Mount Kenya region. We had never met. I had never been to Nairobi in my life. So I used to hear from our civics that there were people called embus and bearers. And the man I was put in the same room with was from that stock. We became very good friends. We studied together. We were appointed magistrates the same day. When I was posted to Nakuru, he was posted to my village in Bungoma. I'll not enlist the torturous issues he passed me through when we were roommates. <laughs> but when my time came to be where I am, he had to exit from that office to elsewhere. He's called Justin Bedan Njoka Muturi. He's now our Attorney General. We are the only two licensed to call each other Kijana. Kijana, come and say a few words. He's my predecessor and my very, very good friend. I'll give you two minutes to say a few words. Thank you, Kijana. <laughs> Your Excellency, the President uh, of the Republic of Kenya, Your Excellency, First Lady, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, Amadorkas, 
all the leaders here present, including my friend, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, Dr. Wycliffe um, Salim Davadi, our keynote speaker. Thank you for the message, well delivered. The only thing I may not uh, know is whether it was well received. But I can tell you, looking at many of the people sitting next to me, message is right home. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, I am delighted that uh, my predecessor, the Honorable uh, Moses Masika Wetangula, and his colleague, uh, Honorable Amazon Kingi, have continued with this practice and this tradition. And indeed, I am uh, grateful to see many of our visitors from uh, around the continent of Africa. It is a great tradition that we come together as a nation, as national leadership, to come and pray. And indeed, as was said by my former roommate, pray incessantly. Is it, did it, is it the one or Sami? I think it's Sami Chepkonga who said it. Some little word of praise to the renewed and revived uh, Bunge Choir. Indeed, as the keynote uh, speaker did say, you have made some uh, improvement. But I do recall that our keynote uh, speaker today was with us here in uh, 2019. And that's why I think uh, he's saying that there's some slight improvement because uh, during that occasion, uh, what was there was uh, organized confusion. <laughs> and therefore, I must congratulate the new leadership of the prayer breakfast. I'd also wish to recognize the part played by many of our prayer groups around uh, Nairobi in various places, in Nakuru, in uh, Adi River, uh, around um, around, uh, is it Karen, Mudaiga? To all of you, congratulations. I also wish to indeed um, salute um, the two patrons for upholding the decision that uh, this occasion becomes uh, one of the key calendars, calendar events in the life of parliament and to maintain the tradition of holding it on the last Thursday in the month of May. Uh, it is sad, but again, I'm happy to note, Your Excellency, uh, you and I, and I think the Honorable Musalem Davandi will recall that the last prayer breakfast of last year uh, was a bit uh, interesting in that uh, today we talk about reconciliation but uh, during the last prayer breakfast uh, of last year it was very difficult to sit together on that table because uh, we were indeed just pretending to be talking to each other you recall and he did congratulations because uh, you you withstood it and from there, you went uh, and gave away your daughter in marriage. I think this year's theme is one that uh, we all of us as uh, Kenyan leaders, and indeed as a nation, should observe. Before I came here, at about 6.15, I was watching television, and in one of the stations, I had somebody question, why do leaders congregate to pray, spend too much money when there are people who, are, who have nothing to eat? I just wondered, is it a mistake for leaders to congregate and pray together? Would it make any difference if we were to do it 